Hello and welcome, my name is Nibir, also known as Zach, and today we are making skate wax. Um, I know there's like thousands of videos on YouTube about how to make skate wax, but I figured I would switch it up a little bit and try to use coconut oil. Uh, I don't think I've seen one with coconut oil yet, and personally, coconut oil rocks. Uh, I put it in my coffee, I put it in foods I eat, and I figured why not incorporate it into skateboarding? So stupid. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, honestly I'm doing that because I don't have any Crisco, and coconut oil is kinda like Crisco, same consistency, same melting point, basically. Mm, pretty much the same thing. So yeah, if you have Crisco, use Crisco. Uh, if you have crayons to change the color of the uh, candle, uh, go ahead and do that. I have a scented candle with color already, so there's that. Um, if you want to use those white Halloween candles you put in your pumpkins, use those. It doesn't really matter, it's all up to you. But this is how I'm doing it. Got a, oh, I got a microwave, or a toaster oven, what do you want to call it? A can, I had to trim down a glove to take it out, and a pot holder. And then for my candle, I just drilled it, if you know what I mean. And yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wax into the can, add like a scoop of coconut oil, and we're gonna shove it in there and see what happens. So, here we go. I'm gonna transfer the wax over to the can. Scoop by a scoop. And yeah. It's a little bit faster this way because with the little candles, the white ones, the pumpkins, you have to like shove it in a bag and smack like a hammer is probably like the fastest way. But the drill really helped with this. Also, I kind of chopped up the wick because it was like in the wax. And that's one of the reasons why I'm using this candle. So, yeah. And you don't necessarily have to chop down the candle. It just makes it a whole lot faster. And, yeah. Getting all the bits and pieces. I'm going to see how much I can fit in this thing. And once it all melts down, just like ice, it's going to fill its container. The liquid, this liquids do, they fill the container that they're in. <laughs> so it's not gonna be as chunky or as much as in there. Honestly, it's probably not gonna be halfway or maybe a little bit halfway up the can. But yeah, so I'm just gonna shove it all in there and get the most out of my skate wax as I can. Yeah. And it just smells good. I got coconut cream. Um, I do have a coffee candle, I got that for Christmas. Put our wax in, our uh, coconut wax. So yeah, look at that. It's pretty much Crisco, except from a coconut. It's natural. Not that much in. Next step, the oven. I'm not too sure on how long this is gonna take to melt, so I'm just gonna shove it in and wait. Hopefully, I don't get shocked. I got this on clearance at Walmart for like five bucks. Because someone returned it without the box. So yeah, I got a good buy, you could say. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice and hot. Got it set at like 225. So hopefully that should do it. Okay, but it's not done melting though. But serious question, why would someone want to make skate wax? Um, I, know I was considering buying some honestly because I didn't really have the right equipment to have the right stuff to make skate wax. So why would someone want to make it at home compared to just buying it for like five bucks? It's fun, <laughs> that's, all, that's about it. Um, you can sell it, I, I guess you can sell it to like people at the skate park, but you'd probably be nicer of a person just to let them use it. And yeah, that's honestly the only three reasons why I could think of it, because it's fun. Um, honestly, if I had the time, or if I had skate wax right now, I'd rather just buy some from like, uh, cheese wax, or whatever, revive skateboard wax, I know they have some. I'm just doing it because it sounded fun, um, I have no other videos in mind to do right now besides making a horror game video. I need to get third episode 
or a second play lit or second plan what do you call that second shift why not a shift of playing that horror game so yeah this is me just talking you guys you guys are just here to look at skate wax i'm here to rant <laughs> uh, smells like coconut i like coconut if you guys aren't a coconut fan sorry i guess it I guess that kind of makes sense i put coconut oil in this coconut cream coconut cream candle so yeah it smells awesome okay it's about been 10 minutes it kind of smells like something's something sketchy so i'm gonna go ahead and check it out hopefully nothing's burning it's probably the wick honestly uh if it's making smoke i'm gonna have to move everything to the garage because i don't want my the people in my house freaking out asking why there's also don't wear gloves like this. Get some, get a real pot holder or something like that. So yeah, it is melting a little bit. Here, let me get you. It's not fully melted, and yeah, it's about halfway, like I estimated, which is perfectly fine. You don't need to be carrying a brick of skate wax to your spot or anything. I hope not, unless you're doing some mad stuff. Yeah. it up to like three I'm gonna try 300 where are the right things because I'm probably gonna get hurt and I don't want to get hurt <laughs> honestly I used to when I used to hey there when I used to make this I did it over an open flame on my gas stove so yeah you can do it that way too you can hear it bubbling I just threw it in there. So, okay, it's smoking just a bit, but it's been in there for. Oh, turn off that Burl skate video. Come on, backward skate shoes. Can't watch that during my video. It's smoking a little bit. Might see if it's melted. Uh, it is pretty much melted, but yeah, it is definitely. The, the wick that did that, the smoky bit. It smells like birthday candle. If you don't know what that smells like, you must have never had a birthday or you're under the age of one. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this good because I don't want to burn down my house or make it smell like birthday because it's no one's birthday. And my parents will probably be like, what the heck, whose birthday is it? And I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. It looks like melted wax. Uh, I'm gonna give it like, pfft, couple hours to dry and I'll get back to you. See you in like 9,000 hours. Yeah. And yeah, hope you guys like the little time lapse. Uh, this is the first time actually doing it with that, uh, my little action camera. So yeah, it's pretty sweet. I didn't even know it had the, eyes look crazy. Ugh. I didn't even know it had um, that option to do that. So yeah, try, gave it a try. Um, made a bunch of clicky noises every five seconds. So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna show you it done because it's not done drying yet. But yeah, basically, you, you like that when I do that to you? Huh? Basically, it's just skate wax. That's all it is, guys. But that's how you make it. I would honestly prefer you using Crisco or olive oil. I saw some people using olive oil, but yeah. But this is a first time experience. I'll let you guys know in the description of how it like feels when it's all dry and stuff. Would I recommend doing it with a microwave? Eh, maybe. Uh, I think I needed to clean it out in the first place because it started smoking and <laughs> I didn't want my house to get all smoky. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ninja Bear. I don't know why I'm touching my face. My name is Ninja Bear, also known as Zach. And thank you for watching again, like I say, twice every time. See you. Peace. Bright lights. 
Also, if you're using a freaking microwave, always unplug it because they're the unsafest thing in a household. My name is Dingerbeer, also known as Zach, and today I made a thing. <laughs> it's actually like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I spent way too much time on this piece of junk. 